Here at Kauffman Stadium, the Kansas City Royals played host to the Oakland Athletics. Mark Leiter Jr. got the nod for the Royals, making his 10th start of the year. He's got a 2.08 ERA in 52 innings so far. And in the top half of the first inning, he strikes out Franklin Barreto for the first out of the game. For the second, he would strike out Boog Powell. As the pitch gets away from Valoria, but he throws him out at first on the job third strike. Olsen would then get a single, but then Chris Davis goes down on a changeup. So three strikeouts for Leiter in that inning. And now on to the bottom of the second where A.J. Pook is on the hill for the Athletics. The left-hander making his 11th start of the year for the A's. And in the bottom half of the second, Pavin Smith connected on a pitch, some lefty-on-lefty -lefty crime. Absolutely drilled into the right center field seats. A solo shot gives the Royals a 1-0 lead just like that. And then Jeffrey Marte would rip a ball into left field for a base knock. Next batter up is Vince Falvey, who hits a chopper to the first baseline. Olsen makes the diving stop, tags the bag, and then also gets the runner at second on the throw. Beautiful double play from Olsen. Move things on to the top of the fourth now. Boog Powell going down looking. After him, it's Matt Olsen swinging through a cutter. That's two down. And then for the 1-2-3 inning, it is completed by Chris Davis grounding into the shift up the middle. A 1-2-3 inning for Leiter Jr. Now onto the bottom of the fourth where Jorge Soler is going to rip a ball into left center field gap. It's cut off pretty quickly by Boog Powell, but Soler is able to turn it into two. So he's on second base. Next batter up is Pavin Smith who connects on one, but it goes right into the glove of Powell in center field. So Soler has to move back to second base, but then Jeffrey Marte hits a ball into left field, Davis is out and left, and they take advantage of his weak arm as Solaire scores from second base on a ground ball to left field. So it's now a 2-0 game, but in the top half of the fifth, things started to swing the other way. Tommy Joseph, his 100th career home run as a solo shot, makes it a 2-1 game. It went 461 feet, an absolute jack job from the former Royal. And then with two outs in the inning, Nunez hits the ball into the right center field gap. He's going to have himself an easy stand-up double with some two-out hitting. After him is Armando Areza, the catcher who hits the ball to left field. Bonifacio is at the track, just looks up and watches it go over the wall for a two-run shot. That's his first home run of his career, and it gives the... A's a 3-2 lead over the Royals, but the Royals come right back in the bottom half of the fifth. Mabry's Valoria, the Royals catcher, hits one into the right center field gap. It's going to bounce up off the wall, and Valoria turning on some extra gear as he gets into third base with a triple, and then Chris Owings would rip a ball up the middle for a base knock, and it ties the game at three. Owings would then go and steal second base to get himself into scoring position. And then with Brett Phillips still at the plate, he hits the ball into left field. Davis tries to dive for it, and the Royals are going to get another run on the poor fielding of Chris Davis. An RBI double is what that's counted as, and the Royals take a 4-3 lead. Jose Torres now on the hill on the top of the seventh for Kansas City. With one out, he would walk Lonnie Chisenhall, so he takes his base after him. It's or a couple batters later, it's with two outs. And then Arazia is going to hit a ball, or Arazia is going to hit a ball in the left field line. He comes up clutch for the A's yet again. And the run comes in. It's now a 4 4 tie ball game. So Torres could not keep it with the lead for the Royals. He would then strike out Barreto, though. Move on to the top of the ninth. Kelvin Herrera comes on, and he would do his thing. Tommy Joseph goes down on a 100-mile-per-hour fastball. After him, it's Jason Kipnis going down on an inside slider that he whiffs right through. And then for the third out, it's Chisenhall. On the drop third strike, Valoria throws the first to complete the 1-2-3 inning. Then on the bottom of the ninth, Emilio Pagan on the hill for the A's. Pavin Smith going down the right field line just barely fair. He's going to turn it into a double, gets in there before the throw. Khalil Lee will then come in to pinch run for some extra speed. And then with one out, Vince Falvey takes a pitch off his legs. He'll go and take his base first and second with one out as then Valoria draws a walk bases loaded for the Royals Chris Owings comes to the plate hits the ball right up the middle lands in for a single Lee comes in to score and the Kansas City Royals walk this baby off 
a walk-off single from Chris Owings, and it's a 5-4 to four lead for the Royals. Is that as your final score? Pavin Smith gets player of the game honors for the Royals. He was 2-4 for four in the day. He had a long solo shot. He also had a double that put himself into scoring position, which ended up being the game-winning run, which was scored by Khalil Liu, came into pinch run. Chris Owings, 2-for-5. Valoria had a triple. Brett Phillips was 2-for-4. Kelvin Herrera gets the win. Emilio Pagan the loss. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Kansas City Royals Baseball. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.